Yeah, YouTube, what's popping? It's your boy Mike Son 007 saying what's cracking. Uh, real quick, I just wanted to let you guys know that uh, I. Uh, it's funny because at first I wanted to pick this piece up, but when I realized that uh, it was the classic Predator, because you know when I when I think of classic Predator, I'm thinking of the first Predator from the first movie, but I realized it was this one from the Predators the movie. Now I actually like the Predators the movie. Uh, and I love the whole story with the Berserker Predator, but as a lot of people probably know who follow me for over a year or more Will know that I um I didn't have quorums with the uh, movie on uh, the movies on um, Berserker Until even though he's supposed to have been bigger until they released the uh, Falconer and then a tracker because every other Predator after those three they basically use this body mold and they were basically the same size now the whole point of the movies the predator is the berserker predator is is basically supposed to be the biggest baddest predator of ever i mean ever of all times he's bigger than any other predator um known 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 in existence he's smaller he's smarter stronger in every way that's the reason why he got respects from the other predators but you know when hot toys released it i wasn't really feeling the fact that the um that the uh the tracker excuse me the tracker and the falconer was the same exact um size and height he was and then if anybody has that samurai predator man that thing is nice you know um of course excluding the uh the the uh, the, the uh decapitated alien head excuse me unless you got the right paint job then it's perfect you know um because that piece is like you know he's kind of real diesel and it's just a real great piece um, so I, you know, I wasn't really feeling them, but I do like the fact that all the predators that coming out with now do have this molded body because they don't have that real skinny look, like um, like all the older predators did, and I guess that's why they're remaking all the other predators over again because they do look a lot more better like this than when they used to come in the kits and you have to snap everything together. You know, I I definitely give them that, and um, this you know saying um, this classic predator. Even though he got his, you know, he got his ass handed to him by uh, the Berserker in the movie, I wasn't really feeling that. You know, I mean, I understand the Berserker is really supposed to be this big badass dude, but I just think they did um, the classic Predator too dirty in that movie. I mean, I, I think I think the fight scene between the two of them should have been a lot more better, and I think he should have caused way more damage to the Berserker, and then Royce should have finished the Berserker off. But that's how I think about it, to each his own. But on this particular piece, um, I like it. Uh, I don't, I mean, you know, um, and I, I, know my, I know my man, um, you know, Moogie215 going to be like, yo, you got that, yo, you got that Jones, man. Okay, okay, okay. Because, you know, he's a huge Predator fan, man. And um, I, you know, I, I, I always, I did want to get this, don't get me wrong. I would have preferred better if he had the same skin tones as the uh, the Predator from the first movie, but I guess this is as close as you're going to get for now, and, you know, it is nice, you know, like, I wasn't really feeling it at first because, like I said, I wanted to, you know, I just wanted the remake of the first one to have this body mold, but, you know, um, I couldn't help myself. Last night, I went over to the same guy I picked up the Mark V and the Battle Damage Mark III from. And I went to pick up a Nolan figure. Um, the Nolan is, uh, of course, a Hurricane Sandy uh, surviving victim. But again, if you know how to dilute and if you and if you're real good at knowing what you're doing, salt water can come off of that. No, salt water can come off of anything as long as you clean it thoroughly and it can air dry. Then you're not going to have any problems. Now, when it comes to car engines and electronics, um, you're done. This particular piece, I know for a fact that. Everything functions on this. Everything in here because he had it in a box, and the box was in like um it, it was in a hot toy shipping box, and the shipping box was I mean it it, it you know like a, it, it, you could tell it was soaked, but you know because of the air and the cold weather, and he put it up somewhere else high. It dried on the outside, but the the actual box like the actual hot toys predator box was done off. I mean when you open that thing up, it smells something horrible. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm talking about, it, oh, it smells something horrible. And I was like, oh, my God. So I had to clean everything out. But needless to say, the Predator piece, because, you know, the Predator piece, this particular classic Predator, he came in like a real thin, airtight, sealed kind of clamshell. 
but because of them, everything else on the outside, it got moist a little bit around the forehead and other areas. So all I did was take some soapy water, wipe it down, let it air dry. But I know for a fact that everything here, if you notice, there's no rust. I know all the mechanics in here is going to work. I didn't have to like soak the figure or anything. Um, as you see here, um, the back here, it's still intact perfectly, no water damage. I didn't even I, I didn't even clean the screws or anything, so I know this is gonna work perfectly. So I'm very, very happy that, you know, that this is one of the electronic pieces that I actually got. Um, and you know, it's real cool. Um, I can't complain. Um, right now, I'm just gonna let it be known to people. Well, I'll let you guys know in another video, because this video is supposed to be about this particular piece. But again, I picked up the classic Predator from uh, the movies, The Predators, um, and I got this thing for a steal, literally. I got this thing for, I got this thing for, I guess you could say about 70, yeah, I'll say about 80, no, that's, that's too much. I'll say about, I'll say I got it for about 55 to 60% less than what it goes for new. The only damage to this thing was I had to clean out the clamshell and the box is no good. But hey, I'll buy a box. Other than that, everything's intact. There was no, I mean, even, even this, and that's how I could tell you smell this. There was nothing to that. And even um, the thing inside, this was dry. It still smells new. So I knew that, you know, it caught no corrosion or damage in there. So that's why I was lucky. Uh, this particular, um, you know, piece of foam, it goes like right here. I mean, it, it was packaged right in here. And this other piece of foam is packaged like right where the uh, his spikes come out. But you know it's a great piece, and it's it's real metal. It's like real kind of like metal, just like the um, the Berserker, the Tracker, and the Falconer, except that he doesn't have that one piece that it has. Like you know, you can have it um you know small, medium, large. It's retractable. That's another good thing about this. Um, the only problem I would have with the diorama, to be honest with you, is the fact that I think what would have made this even better better. Or if they did an exclusive version of this, I think they actually did. But anyway, if they added a tree, if they added like um, the diorama with the tree in the back where you can actually hang them up, that would have that would have put this shit over the top. But other than that, this piece is nice. I don't have no complaints about it. Um, just a nice piece all around, and I didn't have to do no work to it. And with the price I paid for this thing, I'm just loving it a lot more. Woo, very very happy man um i got some surprises coming up uh you know um picked up some other details i'll get into that show you guys a review of that peace loving hair grease one